Dragon Ball fans, hello. Welcome to the Mage's Archive. I'm Maniac, and uh, yeah, we're finally opening up some Dragon Ball Super on the channel, and I'm super excited, and we are starting with the newest set, Vicious Rejuvenation. Yes, we are getting a good look at the set here a week before release. We're gonna get you guys a fantastic glimpse of uh, what you can expect, you know, uh, during, well, I'm recording this on a Thursday night, so tomorrow's pre-release, uh, but the video probably won't be live until today, which will be you know, the day of pre-release. And um, yeah, so I'm pretty excited for this set. Yeah, I know a lot of people are. Let's, uh, let's get a good look. Yes, sir. And uh, I hope you guys can make it out to your local game stores pre-release and get your hands on this tomorrow or today, whichever day this happens to be when you're watching it. And, uh, ooh, little revival pack there. Pretty cool, I did not know about that. Guess we can save that for later. Yeah, um, game has been really, really intriguing me been wanting to crack open some packs for some time now and uh i figured this was the time for it so we start out with a couple of comments a little vegeta the fighting spirit oh I do like the art in the set it's definitely very dragon ball-y <laughs> Probably the, the best way to really put it, huh? Oof. Right out the gate here, we've got a rare hollow. Giving you one honest body change. And we got another rare in the back. Wings Invader Birth. Alright. So I know there's, there's going to be some like pretty crazy cards in this set. I mean, based on what I've seen, there are almost always a ton of crazy cards in uh, like every Dragon Ball set just about. And I uh, can't imagine this one will be any different. Wow, Super Saiyan 3 trunks. Very, very cool. I have not seen an episode where Trunks has gone Super Saiyan 3 yet. Oh, granted, I mean, I've only just started watching Dragon Ball Super. Uh, I think I'm up to like episode 20. It was uh, just after uh, uh, Mr. Satan did his like thing, claiming that he's the one that, you know, saved the world again. You know, um, well, I guess that it's probably a lot of episodes uh, that I think about it. Um, after, uh, I guess, spoiler alert, um, after uh, Beerus leaves, we'll just say that. After Beerus leaves Earth, you know, Mr. Satan takes credit for it. And uh, yeah, that's about where I'm at so far. In super I haven't had enough time to really watch it so I am very very far behind all right lots of comments this really feels like a magic set with the amount of commons a little common foilage Ooh. Mega Shenron, Allies Absorbed. Nice little super rare action there. It's a pretty card. I like it. Very, very nice. Uh, where did I put it? There they are. I think we'll go ahead and penny sleeve this one. We are. I don't 
get my cheat sheet back up here. I uh, I noticed that they have a uh, essentially almost like like a, a demo, um, to where you you can pretty much just play the computer and learn how to play the game on the uh, Dragon Ball Super Card Game website, and uh, I downloaded it. We'll probably try to play it a little bit after I do my recording. Recordings, I should say. And a Lord Slug, a Dark Parasite, Hollow Rare. And we got a Gogeta, the Demon Destroyer. Our rare in the back there. Now I usually take card packs out of the box. I'm gonna do that because I feel like that's gonna get frustrating pulling them out of the box every time. It's, ooh, oops, sort of throwing the pack at myself there. Yeah, so you don't open the easy way, huh? Oh, a little bit. All right, but yeah. Um, I know, I don't know about, you know, your local game shops, uh, but we're not necessarily holding a pre-release event. Um, we do have, you know, booster boxes available for the pre-release for our folks to come pick up if they so choose. Um, there are a bunch of pre-release goodies though that are going to go along with them. That's a pretty awesome leader looking card. Pretty cool. Janiba. Ooh. Wiss, a helping hand. Look at that secret rare there, or super rare. Wow, that is a gorgeous card. I don't know if the camera's really doing it justice. There you are. Very nice. We can go ahead and toss that in the sleeve. Just for good measure. I know the value of a lot of these Dragon Ball cards can be pretty insane. A leader card. It's not an uncommon one. Yep, that wasn't uncommon. Pilaf. It's so weird still seeing Pilaf around. Definitely is an odd one. You got a little Trunks there, uncommon foliage, and rare Beerus, and all of the Golden Emperor for our rare in the back. Yeah, I guess we'll put our uncommon with the common foils. Let's see if I get those in this way again. I really don't like tearing packs at the little tear side there. I just feel like I'm gonna damage a card. Sandoku Heavy Hitter. Oh, that's a pretty sweet looking Deborah card. And speaking of Dragon Ball, like, I really need to figure out some way to uh, get some more time to not only play this game, but uh, like, I literally have the new, uh, the new latest of the uh, Dragon Ball games. That's a pretty sweet looking card there. Um, into the uh, Invader of Earth foil and a Jenimba. Rare in the back. Um, 
This is the uh, Dragon Ball Kakarot RPG game. So I remember like seeing it, you know, back when they were talking about it. God, I think it was like 2018 E3. And I was really stoked for it to see like a, a, an actual RPG style Dragon Ball game. And I finally got my hands on it, and I have literally not taken it out of its wrapping yet. I mean, I'm like six hours into Cyberpunk 2077, and I've had it since it came out. Um, like, it's just no time at all. The list there. It's time in the, oh, this leader card. Pretty cool looking trunks. And, ooh, Oceanus Shenron, the Animancer. Super rare. Another pretty one there. Definitely really like the art in the Dragon Ball cards. Only really ever held ones that are uh, promo cards that I hand out to folks. Actually, like seeing them out of packs like this is a whole new experience. It's a whole new world. <laughs> Chain attack poutine. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to learn more about Dragon Ball Super getting a, a chance to play it um, you know, we, we definitely have a group of Dragon Ball super players at the store and every time they're there I always want to watch and, or join in and play it looks like a lot of fun Launch Brown County's Most Wanted. And uh, yeah, I also have to thank Bandai, you know, for uh, letting the Mages Archive in to the Card Dance Club. I also look forward to getting my hands on some Digimon. Hopefully very soon. Definitely uh, gonna play some of that. Get my hands on some of those cards. Nesta Roshi. Ooh. I like, even like these uncommon hollows. They're really gorgeous cards. Very nice. Pyogon. Stalling for time. In the back there. Yeah, that's just an uncommon. That's gorgeous. Yeah, um, Dragon Ball fans, you know. What card are you guys most excited for out of the set? Have I pulled it yet? <laughs> you guys uh, participating in yeah, your pre-release at your local store, or is your is your store having a uh, pre-release tournament? Oh, that's kind of interesting. Ooh, -hoo. hello there. Frieza and Cell, a match made in hell. A special rare. That is pretty awesome looking. Very, very awesome indeed. Yes, sir. I hope the, uh, the lighting of the camera is actually getting you guys a good look at how that looks. That's pretty. Alright. 
three secret rares and a special rare so far. If I'm not mistaken, the, uh, the hotness out of this set is going to be the, uh, uh, the Time Kai or Spring Kai, whatever uh, he is. Try to speed this up a little bit since we've gotten definitely gotten a good look at all the commons. Pretty sure I'm seeing a lot of duplicates by this point. And a King Piccolo. Time to fight. Pretty cool. For the rear in the back. I gotta say though, Bandai, there's definitely some pretty nice cards you guys are uh, printing out here. All right, so I should be able to skip ahead on a bunch of those comments. Little Gohonks, Master Student in Union. And Temptation of the Mask for the rare. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that. Fusion. Go onks. I guess it makes sense uh, as long as it's, you know, future trunks. Because, you know, current trunks is a bit too young. Bulma, confident friend, Wavage. And Piano, Reign of Terror. That's my Bulma! Fucking Vegeta, man. That pack was being a pain in the butt to open, but we got it. All right. Ooh, okay, well, there's that. <laughs> sort of uh, pull those off a little too quick. West Galaxy Revival. And the Gohawks. Oops, it was like so. Wow, we're at it, huh? I guess yeah, it makes sense. I mean, characters are not truly dead in this series most of the time. <laughs> oh, well, I did that again, huh? Oh, well, followed by the immediate foil. Really another thing too. Um, thinking about the uh, you know Bandai doing the new Digimon game. Uh, I think that was Jasco is doing a actual standalone uh, My Hero Academia card game. Uncommon. Lord Slug. I'm kind of curious to see how that My Hero Academia turns out. So I know Jasco does the whole um, um, universal fighting system or universes. I think it's universes now. 
Which, I mean, it's not exactly, you know, super crazy popular. It's a pretty little common there. Ooh. Nova Shenron. Flame Shots Unleashed for the super rare. It's a good looking, good looking, looking, good looking card. Pretty nice. Got here we got what about six packs to go including the one in my hand let's see if we can get something like amazing in the clothes here what do you guys think do you think we'll get the uh the supreme guy i don't think we will that would be way too crazy beginner's luck a catastrophic premonition. <laughs> Send it out an SOS. Am I dating myself? I think I am. County's most wanted in the hollow. Son Goku DD's disciple. For the rare. This pack feels thick. Oop. Apparently I tossed a comet in the wrong pile. used to having the uh yeah commons after the commons there so i uh kind of doing it wrong and a shroom new demon god down the last few packs maybe we'll get some last pack magic if I can get them open. Oh, man, a little uncommon leader. Vegeta, true fighting spirit. Ooh. Janemba, bewitching below. Special rare. About that. Very nice. That is a gorgeous looking card. I hope the uh, camera is getting that for you guys. Not too shabby. Definitely love the uh, the texturing. That's something I really like about a lot of these uh, more Japanese cards, like uh, Force of Will. I believe uh, a lot of the Bushy Road stuff does the whole texture foiling too. Divine Transformation. Very nice for the, the Secret Rare. Another pretty one there. There we go. I really like how they did the, uh, the effects on that one. Very nice. Right. Definitely uh, two pretty solid packs right there. 
very much so indeed. So, I mean, definitely not expecting anything crazy out of this final pack, but I guess really anything can happen, right? We got everywhere in the back. Two Genom Buzz. Pretty much back to back. But yeah, um, Dragon Ball fans, you know, I hope you enjoyed our first video here. And uh, I almost forgot we have this pack, huh? No idea what we're getting out of this. And, oh, very cool. Bergamo, a ferocious roar. What set is that from? Oh. Huh. That is pretty interesting. All right, then. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, hope you guys are excited for the new set. Vicious Rejuvenation. And uh, until next time, I hope to open up some more Dragon Ball for you guys and uh, learn more about this pretty awesome game. So until next time, hope you guys have a good one. Take it easy.